welcome back guys. I just finished up a couple more of my vintage retrofit type flashlights uh, similar to uh, that guy back there. Um, I thought this one here was really cool. We'll start with him because this here is absolutely the best plastic flashlight I've ever put my hands on. Now that's not just to say that you know we're comparing it to all junk. I uh, there are a couple of other decent plastic flashlights out there, but I really like this one because it's thick and solid. It it's made by a company called Fulton, made in the USA. Not only does this light have a pretty interesting, uh, like a unique look to it with its angled head, I mean, it's really functional. For a piece of plastic, it's well built. Our second light is a Rayovac Sportsman, which I think this particular one is around a 1980s version, but I think they've been making them quite a while. Besides just the angled head, I think this thing has a pretty neat look to it. It's really utilitarian, you know, it'll stand on its own. It's got a good solid switch on it. Got that nice pocket clip or a belt clip there. Really sturdy. I mean, that's, that's solid right there. Both of these lights are for a customer who had some pretty specific needs. Um, he wanted to have this one be 250 lumens and this one be 500. Um, this here holds up pretty well with the heat sinking that I added at 250 lumens. I got out to about 40 minutes and the plastic was pretty hot, but uh, not terrible. Both of them are single mode. Um, this one at 500 lumens, um, even though as I talked about in these kind of lights, because of the way the switch works, uh, you have to fully insulate the drop in from this. This is actually what I did is I took one of my Maglite drop-ins and he wanted just a single LED in it with uh, as much reflector as we could possibly fit. So I just used that, this housing, so I wouldn't have to, at least wouldn't have to machine the threads to hold the driver in. Um, at 500 lumens, this one's really pushing it. Um, it's completely isolated. It's just a, a rubber, an O-ring that holds that in there. The switches in these are battery negative, um, so if this housing was actually touching the flashlight body, it would be on all the time if the battery was in there, so that's why you have to insulate these with O-rings. But with that, at about uh, 12 minutes, just from the radiant heat that this thing's putting off, it, uh, you could feel the head of the light getting pretty warm. Um, I let him know, and he said, hey, that works for what we're going to do. So, rather than uh, powering this up with D cells, obviously, we had to go to something better than that. So, we're using a single 26650 in there. And then I just sleeved it, and there's also this dummy spacer to make up the difference in there. For the plastic one, I did pretty much the same thing. I just made, out of one of those drop-ins, I filled in the extra space around the bulb from the triple. They only wanted, the, the requirements for these were uh, 250 lumen, 500 lumen, and single mode, and... Uh, one LED. They wanted to keep it looking as original as possible, so if anybody did see down the barrel. That made it pretty tough to get to the lumen output on these, uh, because it's not really a very efficient way to power a light engine with just the one LED, but we did manage to squeak out exactly what they were looking for on both. Considering what a low-powered light this thing is, really, when it came, those are some tremendous copper contacts. I mean, those are bigger than anything you see in a high power flashlight most of the time. I sleeved this one in a similar manner so that it also is powered by a single 26650. Okay, now just because I know people are going to ask, um, the cost on something like this, um, I don't do a lot of these because they take so much time. Once in a while I will do them for people. But it's not, it doesn't come cheap. I mean, the average cost of something that I have to both engineer and make from scratch on these type of lights is around $450. And I know I get that that's that's a lot, and I sort of, I kind of apologize, but kind of I don't because they 
they take a lot of time. And the thing is, I'm so busy with, you know, just production work, just running my shop in general. If I have to stop doing that and do something else, I really, it has to be justified. And so, I mean, I didn't even film, you know, the making of this just because that, that adds more time and I got to catch up on other stuff. So, I mean, I hope that you guys understand that. Um, okay, now that we got that out of the way, one other thing that I really like about these guys is uh, this customer's specific request was as high CRI as possible in 3000K, which I've had some LEDs like that that I've been saving for a long time. I was going to put it in this guy right here. I've been planning on doing that for a while. And then, you know, he asked about this. So I thought, well, we'll just go ahead and do that now. So let's go take a look at the beam. <laughs> okay, here's what I found to compare things with. We have my Surefire M6. This is the 250 lumen bulb, I think. It's whichever the lower power one is. It's slightly overdriven because I've got two uh, lithium ions in here, my two AW cells. Um, even though it's overdriven, and this is the 250 lumen bulb, I tested it and it's actually only performing at about 200 lumens, but you can see by the color of the light that it is overdriven a little bit. Also, we're going to compare to uh, this beastie that I made a while back, just because if we use one side of it, it has a similar output to our higher power light. It should be around 500-ish lumens for that in cool white. Okay, so first up we'll try the M6. We've got that focused wide using a shim to get rid of the football it normally throws. Now our 250 lumen military light. right here side by side let's here's the m6 low medium high so there's our overdriven m6 color incandescent look at that it's almost a, a perfect color match now we'll try the cool white, the 500 lumen D cell. And compare that with our 500 lumen Rayovac. Okay, now we'll do a comparison between the two. First, our 250 lumen army light. Now the 500 lumen Rayovac.
just for kicks, we'll try the diffusers. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good lucks.